uh, we finally, finally got a landmark piece of legislation passed, a bipartisan piece of legislation passed that's going to end that system of inequity. And today what we have in place is a system that will, over time, uh, take profound steps to making sure that all kids, uh, regardless of where they live in the state of Illinois, have an equal shot and have an equal public education. I think the Trust Act just puts in place in perspective what we need to do to make sure that we continue to, to uh, grow the relationship between law enforcement and our communities. We're scared enough as it is right now with the whole issue about deportation, that we have ICE coming into our communities, going to our stores, going to our schools, looking for, you know, for, for undocumented. It's, it, but it's even worse if our law enforcement gets involved. It empowers the Criminal Justice Information Authority to start a pilot program on, on establishing trauma recovery centers for victims of violent crime. One of the things we know is that violence begets violence and untreated trauma uh, can lead to someone who is a victim becoming a perpetrator of a violent crime. We've been seeing that abortion is becoming harder and harder to access in many, many states across the country. Uh, so this is fundamentally to me something that women need. We need to make sure we're providing complete access to it. And we shouldn't be doing it just for wealthy women. I was able to pass a common sense gun dealer licensing bill out of the Illinois Senate. It provides a measure of common sense regulation for Illinois gun dealers. It will uh, require gun dealers to be licensed with the state to adopt certain best practices and hopefully cut down on the number of illegal guns that flow into our communities and end up being used in crimes.